this is Rusty the Blazer, and this is my new camera. Um, Rusty's finally here. I'm going to try my new camera out on Rusty. That's what we're starting out with. I found bumper brackets. Uh, the bad news about a project like this is, uh, well, there's good and there's bad in this, okay? It does cost money, and Brian, I don't think he'll get upset. He had this, I wished I would have kept a few of my vehicles since I was a kid, and I think he's going to find out that it's worthwhile after you cut it apart, after you do what you're supposed to do. It's not a beauty. I'm going to back up. Doesn't do it justice. The camera, I don't know if it, I'm going to find out how to focus this. I think it's going real close up. We had to cut the back end apart. I took that all apart down at Paul's. It's got holes in the floors. Holes under here, if you can see that. It's it's salvageable at the point he's made the right uh, time and place in the decision that if you are going to salvage something um, it was it would another couple years it would have been at the point of uh, deterioration where there isn't much working with it but with the new products and new metals to weld it in uh, the biggest problem is going to be reconstructing this back end because I have to hand rebuild all this they don't really make anything to rebuild that so He's going to be in into an extra thousand dollars, a little eleven hundred to be exact. Um, he's going to be a little frightened at the uh, outcome of that, but the prestige is he's going to have something when he's done. The fuel tank has a hole, rust hole right through it. Uh, we're going to do our magic with our uh, magic stuff on the frame. That little product I use and I improved on it. So this is rusty, and. Uh, like I said, I don't think Brian's going to get upset, you know. Well, while you have it apart, is the time to replace stuff like the power booster is shot, the master cylinder. Uh, most of the brake lines are totally wasted. So that stuff's all going to get replaced while it's apart and you have access to it and the fenders and stuff. I'm going to completely disassemble most of the front end uh, just so I can get at that stuff and get the frame coated and everything. Because it does have quite a enumerating rust. Hey, there's Chuck. Chuck's inspecting the new wreck. Even a cat's got to have a sense of humor about it. So that's where we're at, is Rusty is here. And the resurrection's going to start within the next couple of days. I got grass to cut. Uh, things are growing up here. We've had so much rain in between sun. And I have to cut all this. So we're going to make another video of doing some of the prep work and how you start out with a project like this because this is not easy. I've already started sanding and, and sandblasting stuff. Um, it gets a little nuts and it gets your place to be a mess. But talking about restoring vehicles, Tara started out just like that. So I don't think Brian will be able to complain. Uh, Nikki over there, she's going down. I keep threatening, but uh, when, when they're ready, we're gonna take her down there and we're gonna get her straightened out and get her body work underway. We got panels for her and things. I'll show you some of the tools we're going to use and some of the tricks because that one you're going to have to be real goddamn tricky to put that truck back together. Yeah, that's not for a rookie. So some of you guys that do want to restore something and you have that sitting there, you have the money and you have your weekends or whatever to get something done, I'm going to show you how to do it. So thanks for uh, watching my videos.